What's up guys? Adam C here for Hidden Jackpots. Today I'm out on this lovely sunny day down on Queen Street here in Niagara Falls, Ontario. Check out where I am. Niagara African Cultural Space. I have heard about this place, but I've never been here. I hear they have some food and they have an event coming up down by the falls at the Oaks Garden Theater. So we're going to go in, talk to Sue, see what's going on, have something to eat. Let's go check it out. All right guys, yes. what's up? We're back. We're inside now. You saw the outside. Now we're inside. This is Sue. Welcome to Hidden Jackpots. Hey. So you want to uh, explain to the people watching, first of all, what is your role here? Right. So my name is Susan Heaton and I am the program coordinator for African Women Acting. Awa, this is where we're at right now on uh, Queen Street in Niagara Falls. An African culture space. Yes, it is an African cultural space. And there's food. You guys know I love yeah. food. So <laughs> I think we're going to be eating something a little bit later. Oh, for sure. But for now, you want to explain what exactly happens here? Sure. So um, this is a arts and cultural space. And African women's um, mission is to empower women through the arts. So whatever your artistic desires are, um, you know, if you are a painter, visual artist, if you're a musician, uh, a performer, we can help you to um, become an artist entrepreneur. And um, that takes a lot of work. So to have an organization that is um, professional that can back you on that um, definitely helps. So in the space itself, um, as you saw before, we have a lot going on. We have an Awa kitchen, which serves uh, Caribbean and Nigerian food. We also have um, classes and we have workshops and we have a festival. So the space itself is open um, Mondays, Wednesdays and Friday as an office. So um, on top of that, there's an office here uh, that has admin and, and runs like a regular office. And then we have events that we do on a monthly basis uh, that pulls in the crowd and focuses on things that are needed um, in the community. Um, we do use community leaders and organizers or uh, other organizations that we partner with to put on our programming. It's very cool here. Like when I came in, like I've driven down Queen Street and I've seen the place and I'm like, what is that? Like, is it a restaurant? Is it you just go hang out in there? Like, what is it? So I'm glad I got the opportunity to come in and check it out because it is a bit of both. And you come in here and you can learn. And Absolutely. It's a, yeah, you can come in and hang out. There are people that come in and hang out. We, we um, you know, we're not promoting drinking, but we yeah. do have our liquor <laughs> license. And if you wanted to come in for a glass of wine, you could come in and have a glass of wine. If you wanted to come in for some jerk and jalap, you could come in for jerk and jalap, <laughs> right? Um, so it, we, we really have a great menu and we try to keep it as authentic as possible. So there's a Nigerian chef and there's a West Indian chef um, and like authentic. That's so awesome. It's, it's really good. So it gives you a little, we, we, we call them so taste of. So there's a taste of the Nigerian and there's a taste of the Caribbean. And then there's always a good flow, you know, nice music, um, I, I, always a good crowd, people walking in off the streets and, and, and they come in to enjoy the art. So I'm sure you saw the beautiful artwork that we have all around. I did, and you and, guys are gonna get to see that soon yeah, too. Yeah, and so people come in for that and you know, it, it's, it can become really serene. And, um, you know, we've had people come in and just hang out and read a book. So Awa has a festival coming up in yes. August. Yes, we do. I hear. We do. You want to uh, yes. explain a little so, bit about you know that? What? Um, because I'm pretty excited. Awa. <laughs> it is called the Awa Niagara yeah. Festival. It's taking place uh, this year at the beautiful, beautiful Oaks Garden Theater, which is uh, in Niagara Falls. And the backdrop to the festival. Can't beat you, that location. Beat like, that's there, we can say it's a one of a kind because nowhere else has Niagara Falls. Nope. And, and, and the stage will be the backdrop to the falls. So this, it will be the 17th and 18th of August. And it will be from uh, 2 p.m. until 10 and live performances. So it's, you know, an actual live band 
um, we'll be backing um, the artists. A lot of local musicians are on, on the show as well. Um, and it, it is going to be a beautiful mix. So we go from indigenous. Uh, we have an amazing indigenous artist that's on the show this year. Um, and we have uh, the Kale uh, Kale and Company, which is a Bollywood dance company um, that's going to be presenting a dance. We have Afro-Cuban. There's, I don't think there's a genre that's been missed. <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't sound like it. No, it sounds like it's going to no. be a great time. Yes, we have jazz, Juliet Dunn, we have R&B, Kayla Wheeler. Like, it just... I love endless. that you include the local musicians, too. Absolutely. It, it gives them a stage. Why, like, I mean, why not perform at home, practice at home? You can make all the mistakes you'd like to make because yeah. this is home and you, your audience is local and your family can come and, and grandma can come and cousins can come and everybody can be there to support you. And then when you're ready to fly away, we're here to support you as well. That's amazing. Yeah. So you guys have known or have watched the episodes of Hidden Jackpots. You know I've been down Clifton Hill. You know where Oaks Garden Theater is. We've been there many times. You know the backdrop, that American Falls right there. It's Iconic. Just, it's, it's perfect. Yeah. It's perfect. And a lot of people, I mean, if you're down there, stop in. You're going to hear the music. You're going to smell the food. Yes. You're not going to be able to walk by. You're not going to be able to miss it. This is, uh, it's just not possible. I agree with that. I, I, I don't think anybody is going to be able to walk by because, you know, coming down the hill, it's going to be just wafting. Yeah. And, and it's going to call you. So come on in. Don't be shy. We're there from two. Well, we do have workshops, actually. So the festival itself is from two till ten. But we have workshops that are happening. So we have a drumming circle, which um, you can get the tickets for that online. Um, if you go to the AWA um, website, um, you will see it. Um, you can purchase those tickets. Uh, the $20. It, and you, will, you have a belly dancer that is local and she will show you how to belly dance. It's not me. Ah. Don't worry. It's not me. Her name is Yagna. You will see her. <laughs> and then we have um, we have the drumming circle, which um, was at a previous festival um, last year for the Awa Fest, and it was amazing. So to sit there and to learn the traditional um, drumming styles of Africa and to understand, because he, he talked while he spoke. So it wasn't just, here you go. It was, do this, and what that sound means, and why you make that sound. And it's the calling. That's how you would call. And I was like, wow, that is educational. So amazing, amazing stuff. Um, we have um, a Latin group from St. Catharines that's going to be teaching um, some salsa. So it, it, when I tell you, there's everything. I don't know if there's you'll see everything. me dancing either, yeah. but, but not belly dancing. No belly Probably dancing? Probably not salsa dancing. No, no. no. Okay. We'll see. We'll it, see. Maybe we'll have some reggae for you and... Maybe that'll get okay. me out Okay. All right. Very we'll good. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you want to show us around a little bit? Absolutely. You guys want to see what this place looks like inside? Let's, let's take a look. All right. Perfect. I will show you around. So um, here we have, Adam, um, our exhibition that's been on since uh, February, and it's in um, collaboration with Rain um, and uh, Band. So uh, Rodman Art Institute out of St. Catharines is our partner, and Band is also our partner um, in this uh, exhibition. And this exhibition started because of Black history. It is called Black Excellence. And these women that you see here are actually women from the community between GTA and um, Niagara that have done some excellent work. Um, Sheila Foster is local. Um, you know, Rosemary Sadler um, is one of the women that have championed um, lots of things for black history and is really a legend um, there. And so is Vicki Lynn Smith. So this whole exhibition stays up and um, the women have come to speak at uh, the organization and it remains up for an exhibition. Um, and we will probably keep it up uh, for another couple of months until we get a new person to come in and um, show off their artwork. But all of these women are powerful in their own rights. And um, we talked about earlier uh, Jacqueline Walters, who is our kickboxer and um, is, was a kickboxer for Canada. 
and is still very active and still represents Canada on the on the world stage. Um, Elizabeth Gr uh, Grimmond is a, a former banker. Um, just very excellent um, women that have done so much for their community. Now, as we look, there's also some artwork. The chair is actually artwork. So these chairs were brought in. Um, they're actual artwork. You can still sit on them, but they are a, a part of um, the art collection that we have here. Um, as we go through the center, you'll see different um, artwork um, along the way. And um, some of these masks have come in from the Ivory Coast. Um, they've come in from different parts of the continent and um, are always on display here. And um, beautiful, beautiful pieces uh, of work that people can come in and, and, and look at and, and read up on and, and read about. So we're always happy to have people come in and, and do that. Um, this piece of art too is interesting because we are having a paint and sip with um, Lois Sander, the actual artist. Um, she's coming to Niagara to do a paint and sip on August the 11th. So that's that's interesting as well. And then, you know, as we go along, um, you know that this is Queen Street um, for Niagara with City Hall across the road. We have some of the foods that we um, serve at the restaurant, which um, is open here at the center as well. And, um, you know, that's our delicious oxtail, um, chickpeas, and uh, Nigerian fried rice with Nigerian fl uh, fried chicken and plantains. So we just have a taste of Nigeria and a taste um, of the Caribbean, all of it um, wrapped into one. You know, whatever you, whatever you fancy, I'm pretty sure we can whip it up. Um, as I said before, we hold a lot of events. Um, in the center itself and, and people are always welcome to the events that we're putting on and if you go to our page you'll see what events we have um, going on. Um, so you have a website as well as yes, Facebook we do. page? Yes we have a website, we have a Facebook page um, and we have an Instagram page as well so it definitely you can always go in. I will leave the link below all right perfect you don't want to miss out on that no 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 keep abreast yes. um this is our um card for the festival so yes, um you'll see these all over the city and it is the awa niagara festival and take then a look the at that is on the back so very yes. very um great lineup great great lineup um and then yeah so this is like our sitting area like you know you come in and you just want to sit and and have a drink with some friends um or you know talk or admire the art or just relax you're definitely more than welcome when the center is open um to come in yeah, here we have um you know sort of you can come in and and and, and play um the instrument all of this um you know can can be turned around um we have um, or Serratos, so DJs, um, when we have an event, we have a live DJ in here that um, just lights up the place and lights up the room and everything, or, or we have live music, and that gets very interesting. I so can imagine. Yeah, <laughs> so we're thinking of um, starting a karaoke night um, on oh. Fridays, just something light and airy. Um, that you get up there and sing some cats? Exactly, <laughs> yes, can do some Calypso. I agree with you. I don't um, know about that. Yeah, so th those those are the things. And then, of course, another beautiful piece of artwork. I, I, I'm in love with this piece and wish I could buy it for myself. But, you know, when I get some money, <laughs> that will nice. come in. I mean, you can see her a messy little office, but that that's still a part of it. This is where, you know, back in the day where Cribs said, this is where it all goes down. This is where the, magic, is happens. Where the magic happens. <laughs> <laughs> so everything we do, you this is where it's at. This is this is the helm. Um, uh, again, I, I told you that Sonia Aimi is the executive uh, director. Um, Amani Ibrahim is her admin. I'm the program coordinator. Dahlia Anderson handles the kitchen. Um, we have Sandra, who's our vice. Like, it, it's a lot of people that goes, <laughs> puts the work in to get it all moving, to get the train and keep the train going. What do they say? Teamwork makes the dream work. What? <laughs> Let me tell you, it definitely does. And, and it is a dream. So everything is here. Um, we do have, um, right here, we have artifacts that are for sale. Um, unfortunately, some of it has already gone to a Toronto uh, location, which our head office is in Toronto, but we are doing art in the park in Toronto. And so a lot of things have gone down to the city, but they'll come back to Niagara for display. Um, coast, again, mask, Ivory Coast, um, Malawi, 
they're from different areas. But yeah, this is our little center. Very interesting. Thanks yeah. for taking us around. You're very welcome. And, uh, I think it's probably almost time to eat. It is almost time uh. to eat. Let me see what the kitchen's up to. Take a seat and I'll be right back. Awesome. Thank you. All right. <laughs>